So I am here with Les Small with Turin Pest Control. We use this company personally, and we're thrilled for to sit down with you and just kind of talk through some things. So when people are moving to Georgia, they're aware it's a humid, hot environment. Definitely. Um, they may not be aware how hot it is um, or humid, but a lot of them don't think about the bugs. Yes. The termites. Yes, termites. Uh, in particular. Termites in particular. Before we sat down, I was doing a little reading. I've lived in Georgia for so many years. I think Dave loves to tell our clients, it's not if you're gonna get termites, it's yeah. when you're gonna when. get termites. Tell us a little bit about that. I read something about one in five homes are either gonna get them or yeah, there's yeah. gonna be an attempt. There's reportedly about five to eight billion dollars in damages from termites. Wow. And this just what's been reported, okay. not necessarily what is unseen. Okay. There's a lot of termite damage that goes unseen behind walls and then people, you know, they find out when they go and do a renovation, when they come from a different yes. area and they come in town, they look for a new home, they're already picking out how they want to style their home, renovate it, and so they go open up walls. They want to spend the money that way, not taking yes, care of the yes, termites, I'm yes. sure. That's not a pleasant surprise. So let's talk about that. When when we have buyers uh, coming to the area, they understand that it's very important to have a um, home inspection. Yes. We always talk about home inspectors are kind of like the primary doctor, mm -hmm. where they just kind of can get the general consensus, yeah. but if they need a specialist, they're going to say, you might need a plumber, you might need an electrician, yeah. you might need a pest control specialist. Yeah. It would behoove a buyer to have a particular pest inspection, termite Def inspection, right? Would. Uh, home inspectors uh, do kind of pull out that life, that heartbeat of yes. the home. They find the entire, scan the entire home from, from the roof to the to the foundation. And it's funny that you say that because we often work with home inspectors right. in hand, and we go around and we do inspections for them. So there's added value that we can add to the home inspector and, um, and to the clients and, and to your clients too. So we talk about getting a termite letter. Now, when I first started in the business, I thought, you know, it's a letter. It's yeah. actually a wood infestation wood report. Wood destroying <laughs> organism report is okay. actually what it is. Okay. I, I hear this all the time, uh, termite letter. They think we're looking just for termites, but there are multiple wood destroying organisms. There's fungus, there's powder post beetles here in Georgia, like you mentioned again, the weather. And they are they are can really we actually yes. had a client that had them they had the wooden porch yes. rails and my goodness they yeah. were out there just and you could see them just exactly, drilling the exactly. hole basically so, yeah they destroy the wood fungus uh, mildews and molds but those aren't covered under that report but there are so many more uh wood destroying organisms than just termites especially here in georgia with the weather like you mentioned being as it is the uh, hot and humid yeah, environment exactly, exactly so i want to talk about other bugs in just a second but with termites now there's some things so if they have an inspection done there is a termite bond mm -hmm. that is really important i think for a homeowner to have you know what does that mean a termite bond or termite warranty, that actually means that you have some type of protection on your home. You're backed by a company, hopefully Turin mm -hmm. Pest Control, to take care of your home as far as any termite needs go. So uh, a lot of homeowners don't know that homeowner insurance does not cover termite damage. That's where we come into play and make sure the home is protected and we put a warranty on a home, in which case we would retreat the home if any termites uh, became active and if any damage was caused, we can take care of those damages by that infestation uh, at that time as well. So what do you use to treat for termites uh, or so to pr protect the home from termites originally? Yeah, so termites are social insects and so what we use is basically a social insecticide uh, that is used into the soil. Uh, we treat the soil pretty heavily and then there's baits that uh, goes off of the uh, pheromones of termites that they use and they send that food and it destroys the colony. So do they mass. gather at the bait there? Yeah, so they, they have a little party at the actually, bait? <laughs> termites are blind, so they're constantly okay. foraging, looking for food sources. They don't know when it's gonna run out, but they're constantly looking for food sources all throughout the ground. There's no straight path, and so when you put the bait in the ground that has the active ingredient that kills termites, uh, they use it as a food source, and they all begin sharing it, and, and it acts sort of like a virus almost. Okay, when we're talking about the bonds, there's a couple different ways you can purchase a bond, right? Mm -hmm. In terms of there's a repair and retreat, yes. which I highly recommend yes. as a 
realtor. Um, but there's another option. Mm -hmm. The other option is just a retreat only. There are some homes that have uh, significant damage. In that instance, we cannot cover that damage that's already there on the home. So what we can do is retreat it. If in any case that uh, termites do become active on that home, we can retreat it. But the repair and retreat bond is actually what you want. That's gonna cover up to the value of the home. And uh, you, you definitely wanna get your home protected and have that repair retreat warranty. So if somebody goes to purchase a home, there's termite damage, and they realize that going in, mm -hmm. they may find out from you guys that they can only get a retreat bond, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. But that's good to know up front. Yes. Yes. Um, and that's, that's what we do, is, like I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. Going along and inspecting the home, yep. that's what we do. We write that full report up, and then at that point in time, uh, we, can, we can determine whether we, you know, what, what type of warranty we can put the home under. And if that is done during your due diligence period in Georgia, that is your period of time. It's a buyer beware state. We've talked about that before, but that's your period of time where you can back out of your contract. So if you find out that there's major termite infestation or anything like that, that's a good time to do it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you don't necessarily want the home or get the home, but at least you go into it with that knowledge. Yes, yes, the knowledge is very, very important. And uh, a lot of people, they misunderstand termite damage. Uh, they want to back out just because they may have termite damage. Now, that doesn't mean that it's significant. You know, uh, just because some termite damage is found doesn't mean that you shouldn't purchase the home of your dream. Yeah, I think uh, my parents, who lived in Peachtree City, ended up with just a little spot mm -hmm. um, because they did have regular treatments, but they had a little spot yes. by the garage door. Yes. Garage areas are usually the most vulnerable areas. In most cases, when a home is built before the foundation is laid, uh, there is a pre-treat, and we, we handle those as well. Um, there is a pre-treat that's done, and, and that lasts a significantly long time. Uh, now the garage area is not pre-treated, so that's why you often have areas uh, in the garage that see that damage first. But again, you want to have protection. All yeah, I think home. you mentioned to Dave the detached garages are, yes. seem to be very vulnerable because they are a lot yes. of times built later. Yes, they are built later, and no one thinks about it when they adding <laughs> adding on to a home. When they're either added onto a home or having something detached off of the home, no one thinks about it at that point in time, only after the fact. So, so let's talk about other bugs because it is a humid and hot environment. So yes. we have all kinds of critters <laughs> here in Georgia. You've Not seen just, them flying around right yes, now, right? Yes, exactly. So, um, you know, Dave and I were talking before you got here and, and laughing because, um, you know, roaches. Mm -hmm. They're out there. Palmetto bugs. Is that just a fancier word it, for a roach? It, it is a word. <laughs> People would not like to call it a roach, but they want to call it something. And so palmetto bug is normally what, but they are, they are roaches. Sounds nicer, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it's what, <laughs> those are what we call occasional invaders. And these aren't infested by any means, but because of the, um, because of the weather that we have down here, it's, it's very you know, it's conducive for their conditions. They love to harbor in these areas that have, you know, warm, humid, you know, water, uh, all of those things that they, you know, thrive off of. Well, and I may be kind of weird here. I, I don't like roaches, but <laughs> I hate ants. Yes. I, I mean, a roach, I, I could I could see it wadded up in a, you know, yes. kill it, wadded up in a p tissue, and I'm good. Yes. Ants, we had them in our pantry after we moved in. Mm -hmm and I lost my mind. <laughs> um, now you guys came out and took care of everything and I haven't had anything since. Yes, um, that's awesome. You know, ants are an issue. They really are, they really are. We, as a matter of fact, when we treat the home for the very first time, that's what we generally try to treat for is the ants because once you become, once you have an ant problem. Oh my gosh. It, it, it lingers and lingers and lingers, so yes. you know. And you have a walk-in pantry, there's lots of places yes, for yes. them. Yes, and they can get in the tiniest of cracks. Oh my gosh. Just like termites. And trying to figure out where they're coming in. Yes. You really don't, I mean, sometimes you have no idea where they're coming in. Yes, and that's what makes it difficult for a technician um, when you have an ant issue, an ant problem. Not knowing where they're coming from and trying to find where they're, you know, where they're going, that's one of the biggest biggest uh, factors of trying to, you know, continue pest control on the home. Now what about mosquitoes? Mm -hmm. We have, what, what is it, October through April? Or yeah, so April, April through October, through October right? yeah. treatments. Uh, those are high activity areas for mosquitoes. Uh, and what we do is we treat the foliage, the ornamental bushes and shrubs. We try not to hit these pollinators that we have here, these beautiful flowers that you have outside your home. We try not to uh, treat those areas, but uh, 
low shady areas, if you have, are in an established neighborhood where there's plenty of trees and you have a tree line close to your mm -hmm. home, um, you definitely benefit from a mosquito uh, reduction service. And I know we have that, um, but also uh, Lyme has become a really big, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are acknowledging it now, a lot of mm -hmm. doctors, a lot of people are suffering with Lyme disease. Yes. So you've got ticks, that is a tick-borne disease. Yes. Um, so I know we have our yard treated mm -hmm. uh, for that as well. What do you do for that, similar with the mosquitoes, Yeah, right? similar with the mosquitoes. So during that period that we just spoke about, April to October, mm -hmm. uh, those are when I call the blood suckers, they come yeah. out. Oh my gosh, <laughs> So yeah. you have mosquitoes, you have fleas, and you have ticks. Now that same product that we use for mosquitoes, it does help with ticks and um, fleas as well. It's, and we reduce the numbers with that same exact service. Okay, so let's talk about um, the treatments that you use. Um, if you have pets, mm -hmm. um, like we do, is it safer to keep them inside for the outside? Uh, you know, what what things you treat with, I'm assuming they're not really safe for pets, or are they? Yeah, they're they're all safe. Um, pest control has changed. Uh, it's not it's it's not kind of like it was forever ago. Yeah, yeah. forever ago. Well, everything's yeah. Im improved. They yeah, evolved. everything yeah. is improved. So all the products that we use, um, they have been geared toward the body weight of an insect. So it it's not affect you know not affecting people, plants, or uh, pets for that matter. Um, it's just affecting exactly what it's targeted for, and that would be, you know, those mosquitoes and those fleas and ticks. Now, we don't want anyone around during the treatment right. process, of course, but, uh, you know, it's not gonna you know, necessarily hurt for them to, you know, be in the general right. vicinity. Sure. So I think what we kind of walked away with here, if you're moving to Georgia, or if you already live in Georgia, and you are not having your home regularly treated, you really need a quarterly treatment, yes. right? Yes, quarterly treatments, that's exactly how we treat. Uh, our products are designed to last for three months and that's why we treat on a quarterly basis. But if there are any issues that you have, like you, you come call, back, yeah. yeah. Come back and we'll take care of you uh, with, no, with no problem and resurfacing and spot treating uh, particular areas that you have trouble with. It's like a lot of things, it, it's an expense that some you maybe don't mm -hmm. want to want to spend, honestly, like insurance, things like that, but you need it. Yeah. In Georgia, you really cannot afford to not have a regular yeah. pest control and service. Even talking with some of maybe your clients and mm -hmm. other agents' clients, I always get it. Um, new homeowners always say, I never believed I would ever have to have pest control, <laughs> and they do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you can't live without it. Well, thank you so much. Thank this you. is I and hopefully it. educational for our viewers. Yes, thank you so, so much for having me.